So we're standing in this building right now, right here. And then we'll go out around this side and we'll walk straight down. And then we can cut down through, walk along the center line of the road. I have that all staked out. And then I have the corners of the building staked out. Okay. okay. So where's the, uh, the, the septic tank and the easement and all that? Oh, I'll show you that. Okay. So this is the kind of the start of the new road. Okay. And it'll go down over this hill. All right. And these, the stakes with the orange flagging down through is the center line of the road. And it'll wrap it right down through there. That's one, yeah. So the wheat field for the, bar, the house, the existing house, is here. Actually, it's right here. Yeah, the, the old one's right here. The new, one's gonna gonna on the new one's going to go down there. Okay, so new, new for this property. Right. Yeah. right there. Okay. And actually, a good, that mound right there that you see right there with that one bush sticking yeah. on it, which shouldn't be on a septic system, but <laughs> it's there. That's the other septic system for the adjacent house. And the easement comes up and into that thing. And then it, we can walk right down the road. Yeah. So this is the road coming down right here, these stakes. their septic tank, the covers. See those green covers in the lawn right over there. So that is a pump chamber. Comes right up here, goes right to that roof here. So the road goes right across right there. Okay. How does the, the easement, because there, there's an easement for someone's... There's an, there's an easement. It's a little bit of a... There's actually two easements, and one of them goes around this one, and then it was changed over here, and they, I guess they flopped back and used this one. You might have to straighten that out. There's some discrepancies in that, but there's easements here, and they're in one of the easements for sure. And there is a like a little 10-foot easement for the forest now. So the orange again is the road. You could come right in between the buildings, and then those four blue stakes right there are the building. So this is the end, the gable end facing us, and the ridge running the same as that house. The same. Yeah. And then uh, the plantings are going to go all along the, the property line. Is that, yeah. That's the so, so. How many? How many? Trees are 
I had them. I mean, I think the board probably wants the whole, basically the whole. Yeah. 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 Back of that house yeah. That's what it showed on the plan. Yeah. Thank you. Remember, the board said. So what I've done is. Um, we're gonna put like a small berm over there. Right, right. You're gonna do the berm. Four, four, that's what we're gonna do. Four, four foot berm, that's and then right. six feet at the time of planting. Yeah. All we, basically, basically from. See that corner stake right yep. there. Uh, down to you know past the back, that little stake right there. Yep. So in between that birdhouse and the, that tree. Okay. We'll put a little berm right there and, and do that, and then have. So the idea now would be to. Uh, as opposed to a big tall tree because of the potential solar panels on this side. We, we want to do evergreens but smaller bushes that, that maybe max out at 8 to 10 feet. You know, that would get us up above, um, well, it wouldn't get us up above the E. What's the E? Well, oh, so it, it will. will. So if we are, are on a 4 foot berm and we have an 8 to 10 foot bush, you'd be right about the E, but you wouldn't go up over so that the, um, it blocks the solar, yeah. all the solar can down here. Yeah. I had originally put some larger trees and we, we took a look at the solar and it, it really blocked it quite a bit. So, Makes sense. so I'll come back with that this next. Yeah, I think some perspective would be, would be helpful. Okay. Um, and then the only other thing I wanted to, I just need to get feedback from the fire. I keep saying it was really cool. Well, yeah, and it was. I'm more concerned with the fire department. I'm about ready to design the berm in and make it all work, but if they want the building slid or this way, I'd rather wait and then do it all. Okay. So it's right down the center. Yep. So I think that's 15 feet from that blue stake to that center. So it'd be 15 feet, and then the other buildings would be there. Um, and all those, straight, all straight back. There's one, two, three, four. Right. Yep. And remember, the other three buildings are 12 feet narrower. So this so, is uh, lead to one. right. So the other three buildings are 32 feet by 80, and this first building was 44 by 42. By yeah. And then the, the drainage, which you saw in the plan. And you can't get the buildings back any further because of the setbacks and So yeah, there's so that radius comes from that high farms comes this like right here. Yeah. And then the school radius from the Montessori school is the other radius. Right right right. right. And so there is. <clears throat> I mean, there, there, there's potential to possibly go that way a little bit. But then you have the easement of the right. utility power right. line. Yeah. Right. There is a power line easement out there. And then to keep the road, you know what I mean. So we're trying to. You know, my intent of the barn is to fit into the setting. It's not if I was just a um, true capitalist, I could put a metal building there. And then I could see putting a big barrier and all that stuff. But I'm spending a lot of money to make it look like a huge wall so far. That's the right thing to do. Yeah. I, I think that, I mean, that, that pretty much covers the extent of the city walk, right? Yeah. I think we can go under, under cover until. Yeah. <laughs>